transforming God set us on fire as we celebrate the birth of the church this Pentecost Sunday. May our desires boldly proclaim our identity as Christ followers be like fire shut up in our bones. the call to worship. Come, Holy Spirit. The wind of God and the breath of life. Come, Holy Spirit. Our, our advocate, advocate and our, our counselor. counselor. Come, Holy Spirit. Teacher of wisdom, wisdom and, and reminder of Christ. Come, Holy Spirit. Grantor of forgiveness and, and giver of peace. peace. Come, Holy Spirit. May we feel God breathing through our worship. May we receive the Holy Spirit in this place. Amen. Amen.
As we come this morning, let us set our hearts right, our minds right, our spirit right in order to receive. Let us bow our heads. Holy one for all of the ways you speak to us in a rushing wind and dancing flames and words we understand and in the transcending language we give thanks. Give us courage to speak your love everywhere we go and to everyone we meet. Amen? Amen. Amen. sing when the spirit says sing I'm gonna sing when the spirit says sing I'm gonna sing when the spirit says sing obey the spirit of the Lord I'm gonna pray when the spirit says pray I'm gonna pray when the spirit says pray I'm gonna pray when the spirit says pray shout when the spirit says shout i'm gonna shout when the spirit says shout and obey the spirit of the lord i'm gonna sing when the spirit says sing i'm gonna sing when the spirit says sing i'm gonna sing when the spirit says sing small voice of hope and fill us with your passion for justice come the river of the least purify us of our grasping greediness come harmony, harmony of God's, God's heart wind of God blow through us fire, fire of God, God burn within, within us come of God Speak to us on this day of renewal and birth, even as we pray as Jesus teaches us. Amen. Amen.
Good morning again. Good morning. Uh, isn't God good today? Amen. He's awesome, huh? Today, the scriptural reading is going to be taken from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. Let us stand. The book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. You're going to bear with me this morning because this is a beautiful reading mm -mm. about the Pentecostal Sunday. Uh, I'm going to be making some pronunciation errors when it comes to the names, plus, but I want you to please bear with me, okay? The reading again is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. The coming of the Holy Spirit. When the day of Pentecostal had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and were all bewildered because each one had them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language, Fafir, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Pygaria, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and uh, proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deed of power. All we are amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others neared and said, they are filled with wine. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. Amen. Amen.
to have young folks back in the church. Yeah. Isn't it good to have us all back in the church? Yeah. Fill me up. I don't know what you come to do this morning, but I've come to worship my God. Amen. You ask me why? Because you don't know what I've been through. Amen. Be it sickness, be it aches and pains, be it lost of life, loved ones, be it the season of which we've been in, that's why I come to worship. Come to worship my God. Good morning, beloved. This is Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday, the coming of the Holy Spirit. One place, one accord. The Holy Spirit to fill us. Lukeman's always saying, I'm not a theologian. But yet, Luke reminds us that he left his practice. His medical practice because he was called. And yet, as God reminds us, many are called, few are chosen. But this is the harvest, the harvest of that of God's people. The harvest is plentiful. Amen. The harvest is ready for you to pick. But yet, there's many of you that do not want to labor that of God. The celebration, be it Jew or Gentile, 50 days, the birth of the church, the spirit of God. We need to look inside ourselves to see the spirit to boldly accept the Spirit, but also we have to recognize that we need to be that of consciousness. Consciousness. 
there was a lady that was on trial for murdering her husband. And when it came down to the prosecutor asking her the question, where was your consciousness in murdering your husband, where she had poisoned his coffee? She said, the first cup I knew about, but when he asked for the second cup, my consciousness took hold of me. My consciousness. Conviction and that of sin. But yet God forgives us for no matter what we have done, what we may plan to do, how we're living within our flesh. But yet God reminds us to be that of openness, to be that of receptiveness, receiving that of the Holy Spirit, being conscious to know God. My hope this morning is simple for you, that you will hunger for the transformation of the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This morning, I want you to look at the Spirit and the transformation of the Spirit. Things to consider that of Spirit, attitude, and disposition. Yeah, a lot of us need to get our attitude and our disposition right. Because until we get our attitude and our disposition right, our heart will never be right. Pentecost invites us to think about the aligning of the Spirit that of with God, to focus on our attitude and our intentions on the right things, that we can ask God for His grace and His fullness of the peacefulness and that of the helpfulness of His disposition in a time. Time and intention for that of invitation. As the old folks used to say, there's a time and place for everything. Amen. There was a time for Christmas. There was a time for Easter. There was a time for Ascension. Now's the time of Pentecost, of fulfilling our hearts, our minds, and our spirits. We must not forget the day of Pentecost Amen. that is already set in the Jewish calendar. But we too share this celebration, Pentecost, in the Jewish tradition is that of 50 days, that of the law of Mount Sinai that took us to the place of the 50. And yet later the Lord reminds us of a new covenant of which he writes, he writes upon our hearts. The Holy Spirit. Amen. It seems perfectly adapt to this that Jesus died for our sins. That of death, resurrection, new life, new hope. What's happening to us today? We're living in the world yes. instead of living about the world. Mm -hmm. We should be living in the Word of God, the hope of God. Yes, sir. We should be that of unity, yes, sir. of all, yes, sir. all. Mm -hmm. There is a story of a little girl that had a multitude of dolls. Large, medium, and small. And when she was always playing with the dolls, she would play with all of the dolls at one time. And her mother asked her one day, why don't you just play with some of them at a time? And she looked at her mother and says, God wants us all, all to be together together. 
that of unity. The sound of the rushing wind filled the house where they were sitting. They appeared to be of divided tongues, that of the tongues of which no one understood. But immediately the phenomena that came with the kindle of the fire, the thick clouds, the darkness, the tempness, that of the trumpet sounding, those of voices and words, came unity and understanding through that of the Holy Spirit, the power of the worldwide witness of those who've heard the wonderful works of God, the Babel that had been reversed and God restored, restored the comfort of the Spirit, the Spirit of the power, the power of the Spirit, the protection of that of God, the insurance of God, the encouragement of God. Amen. For all of us. Amen. Underlining the message in the upper room, the discord, but yet the encouragement to be that of one. No longer are you orphans. You've all been adopted by the love of God. The Spirit came in the fullness of the power to convict the world of its sins, of its unbelief, of its unwelcome influence. But yet, that of the righteousness of Jesus Christ, who died for each one of us. Amen. To have life, yes. an existing life, yes. that we need to manifest ourselves in the Word, in prayer, in worship. Most of all, that of truth and belief. Amen. Jesus had many things to teach his disciples before the resurrection. But yet, it says all in due time that you would get it. But you have to be that of receptiveness. Receptiveness of my father, receptiveness of me and ultimately that of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit takes the gifts of God of which Jesus purchased for each one of us by his death and applies them to our lives that we are that of the heart of God the incarnation of Jesus Christ. And one place, one time, one Holy Spirit, Amen. one ministry, and Amen. one mission Amen. to be that a worldwide unity. Amen. No matter who you are, the Spirit is upon you. Yes. By the gifts of God, no matter what yes. tribe you come from, mm. no matter which tongue you speak, no matter what name you go by, no matter where you live in the flesh or in the world, no matter your heart, be it hard or softened, no matter what you have done, yes, sir. the Holy Spirit is upon us this day, individually and collectively. Somebody should be shouting, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. No, I'm not drunk or no, I'm not high. I'm not high in the flesh, but I'm in joy of the Spirit. The creation of the Holy Spirit. Above all the signs of the earth, the blood, the fire, the smoke, and the darkness. Call the name of the Holy Spirit. Call the name of the Lord who saved each one of us. Because there's no more no's, no more groaning, no more pains, no more question, no more doubts. But there is shouting 
of joy, shouting of love, acceptance of the adoption, Amen. receiving the redemption, Amen. and hope for life. As he searches our hearts, our spirits, we should be that of loving Amen. of ourselves, yes. loving of God, and loving of one another. As God registered his testimony last Sunday, a testimony of that of his love for each of us, a witness of his son, but a witness of life. That is why it's so important to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes. Let my yeses be yeses to that of the Lord. And as the scripture reminds us, all together, the rush of one wind, many tongues but one understanding, the fire of cleanliness, the hearing of the Holy Spirit, the joy to all, Jew and Gentile, that we are one. Amen. Although the darkness has come, the light is before us. Let us think of ourselves as one mind with this world. Let us come back to that of God, God's word, God's love for all one spirit. Holy Spirit, transform me. Transform me to be that in the image and the likeness of Jesus Christ. More so than anything, Holy Spirit, fill me. Amen. Of my receiving, my believing, my loving, and saying, yes, Lord, yes. Therefore, let's go from this place into the world, representing Christ Jesus in word, in song, in prayer, in love, in hope, and most of all, that of joy. Amen. Amen. Joy. Yes, sir. Joy. Joy. You have been commissioned to render God's word no matter where you are. You've been commissioned to love one another. Amen. You've been commissioned to be of adoption. You've been commissioned to have joy, hope, love, and trust. But most of all, remember, do not let anything or anybody steal your joy. Your joy belongs to you, shared with God, Amen. shared with one another, Amen. shared in holiness, shared in forgiveness, Amen. shared in the Spirit. Amen. Share God. Share God's love. I don't know what you come to do, yes, but I come to worship. I come to worship God. I come to thank God. And in coming to worship, coming for thanksgiving, my attitude of gratitude. So today, get your disposition right to be in alignment with that of God the love of God, the voices of God, the children of God, the music of God, the splendor of the word being read by God.
We've been through a lot, beloved. It was an experience, no matter what. But the Holy Spirit has come in. The Holy Spirit is being received if you open your heart to it. Being receptive. The harvest is before you. The gifts to that of the harvest, both Jew and Gentile. The coming together in unity. Mend your hearts. But in order to do that, you must be in prayer. You must be in word. Lord, listen to your children praying. Amen. Now's a moment of prayer. Children, pray yes. to that of God. Now is the time as we petition God to listen to us pray. Bow your heads. Open your hearts. Clear your mind. Be of consciousness. Be of unity. Be of love. Most of all, be of receptiveness. Lord, hear your children praying. Lord, fill us with your spirit. Lord, let us relinquish our baggage here this morning. All of the burdens that has been keeping us down. Be it that we recover medically, be it we're recovering from somebody hitting us, tailgating us, be it of that, of whatever that has been polluting your spirit. Ask for the healing, the forgiveness. Say that you're sorry. I forgive you, but most of all, I love you. Gracious and almighty God, as we come before you this morning at the throne, God, hear our petitions, know our hearts, our minds, and our spirits. But on this Pentecost Sunday, we ask that you just come in and fill us. Renew us in the fire, O oh God. Purify us in the fire. But let us be that of the likeness and the light of that of your Son. Let our hearts say yes. Let our minds say yes. Let our spirits say yes. God, we thank you for everyone that is before you, right here, right now. Be it here in the sanctuary or viewing us live or on tape. God, we pray for the Ali family. Lord, we pray for the Tringal family. Lord, we pray for the Bruno family. Lord, we pray for the Metzger family. Lord, we pray for the Betterton family as they're healing the transition of Mickey. Lord, we pray for the Vincents. We pray for the Russells. 
we pray for the named and the unnamed. Be it Bill, be it Kathy, be it Diana, be it Felita. God, we pray that you hear our prayers. But most of all, God, allow us to be rooted. Rooted in you, O oh God, that this harvest will blossom. This harvest will flourish. This harvest will feed. This harvest will bring us together in unity. Mend us, O oh Lord. Mend us. Mend us with your spirit. Our minds, our hearts, our bodies. Renew us and uplift us. Lord, we thank you. We thank you this Pentecost Sunday. We thank you for forgiving us. We thank you for allowing us not to remove our address that you can deliver to us. We thank you for the message. We thank you for the encouragement. But most of all, God, we thank you for our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen and amen.
Amen, amen, amen. Oh, may the Lord bless their voice. As our sister have worshipped this morning, mm -hmm. bringing the best of what God had to offer mm -hmm. her. And can we give her another round of applause? <laughs> May the Lord bless you. As before I say the olfactory uh, prayers this morning, I want to thank these young ladies, all four of them, for coming in and giving their best to the Lord. Come on. Amen? Come on. You see, when we allow God to use us, there's amazing things. Amazing things happen. You see, if you were not here earlier, the reverend was talking about how one of the four apostles, we know of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and how Apostle Paul was a physician, and he gave us gave us all he had. He gave up his practice to follow and worship God. The same is given to each and every one of us today who wants to accept the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Today's Pentecostal Sunday. The spirit as it was made available on that day in Pentecost is same gift that's available to us all today. I want you, each and every one of you, to know today that what God has for you is unique. What God wants for you is for you to live life. He said he has come to give you life and give it to you abundantly. He doesn't want to just give you a mediocre life. He has come to bless you. So when you open up your heart, open up the eyes of your heart and let him in, you begin to enjoy his grace that is free. So my brothers and sisters today, my prayer for you is to receive the free gift of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord be with you. The olfactory prayer. Living God, you are Lord of all. Only you can send your spirit to bring us new life. You graciously speak your word of hope in times of struggle and uncertainty, and in times of joy and peace. Today we are grateful that you are continually at work in our lives and in the world to fulfill your promises. May, I give, may our giving today show our trust in you. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you all. If you like to bring your offering forward and put it in the box, you're welcome to do so. If you like to light a candle of illuminating the darkness of which you've come out of, you may also do that. Ladies, whatever's on your heart, or uh, whatever you have, Madam Jacqueline, i 
for the doxology. you God for continuing the gifts of Christ by pouring out your spirit upon us this day. Keep us one with Christ and one with each other, one in ministry to all the world, showing forth the fruits of your spirit. Love, joy, and peace, forbearance, kindness, and goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, unity until we last. Come to your heavenly banquet through your Son, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, your holy church, and all honor, glory of your almighty Father, God, now and forever. Amen. Now and forever. Amen. Beloved, beloved. The Holy Spirit is here. Amen. We are now on one accord. Yes, Being of one accord, let us be of one love. Amen. Let us be of the words. Amen. Let us be of the unity. Amen. Let us be that a light. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Go in blessings. Amen. But most of all, go in victory.
peace and joy and love. Have a blessed day, everybody.